how do I get my ex back? This is one of the questions I answer almost uh, more often. How can I get my ex back? I'm still interested in my ex. I still want him and from the look of things, my ex still wants me. We still both want each other, but I don't know how to get him back fully. Like we're supposed to move on on whatever may have happened. I am supposed to move on with him. I am supposed to move on with her. So how do I get my ex back? So let's go into the video. And before we go into the video, my name is Coach Ann Moses. And I do love advice on, on dating relationship. So if you find this useful, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay glued to the channel. Because every other week or every other day in the week, I post videos here on love advice on what to do, how to start your relationship, how to get it standing and how to get it back if you're losing it. So let's get into the videos. I'm going to give you some tips that can help you to get your ex back. Never listen to those people that tells you, don't go for him anymore. He has moved on or she has moved on. Let her be, let him be. Don't listen to advice like that. If you know your ex, you're still ready for him or you're still ready for her, please go for it. And these are the things you're, you're supposed to do or you should do to be able to get your ex back to you. Don't be too emotional. So don't always be ready to give out sex when your ex asks for sex. Don't always be ready for sex. It's one of the things that you give so often and he's not taking you serious. He no longer takes you serious because anytime he asks for what he wants, which is sex, you are ready to give the sex. So don't be too emotional to give out sex at any time your partner wants sex. Socialize more with people that appreciate you. Hang out with people that appreciate you, people that brings out the best in you. Don't forget to hang out with people like that. As a lady, don't forget to look nice. Change your clothes if possible and um, change your clothes, change your looks, change the way you speak. Don't forget to socialize. Avoid people that tells you don't talk to him, don't go for him, he's moved on. Don't forget to socialize. Don't forget to look good. Smell well. Don't forget to smell well. Smell nice because when you begin to smell nice, you change your clothes. This guy is beginning to think, oh, this lady has gotten someone better than me. This guy is, this lady is actually hooking out. I mean, he's going out. She's beginning to hook up with somebody that is far better than me or someone that has more than, or that is offering more than I do. Don't forget to engage yourself in some exercises. Look well, looks, I mean, look smart. Look well in your clothing. So this will make the man, if he's a guy, this will make the guy to like, okay, fine, this lady is actually, um, she's moved on. She's getting, I mean, someone better than me. She's actually seeing someone that is ready for her. She's actually seeing someone that makes her more happy. So this guy will begin to look for you. He'll begin to know, he will begin to come to you or come back to you to, it will make him to be able to, to appreciate you better because he knows without you, he can speak without you, she can still move on with her life. Without you, she can still do better. Without you, she's more focused. So these things you do, it will make him to look at you. Oh, this lady is serious. She's she's beginning to she's beginning to see someone better. And it will help this guy to come back to you. Casually, once in a while, when he talks to you, respond. Don't tell him everything you're into. Don't tell him whatever you're doing. Don't tell him your program. It will help this guy to come back to you. Not avoiding telling him like telling him the truth. Tell him the truth, but avoid telling him, giving him updates on what and what you intend to do or on what you're doing or where you are going, the friends you're hanging out with, what you intend to do or what are your intentions. Don't tell him absolutely, but tell him, be sincere to him, whatever he needs something from you. Yes, not sex, like I said, be ready to offer. You see, he wants to talk to you. He wants to have a time with you. Please don't make sure you don't spend a whole lot of your time with him because he's no longer there. His time absolutely is no longer for you. He just have some few minutes of some few hours with you and make sure those few hours he has with you are useful. Are useful, excuse me. Are useful. Hang out with friends that make you happy. So don't forget the tips are never listen to people that says that tells you your partner has moved on. You have to move on. He might be your partner. But maybe something happened in between that you need to correct, he needs to correct, don't forget. So don't listen to people, advisors, friends that tells you, don't wait for him or don't wait for her. Just give out some time and then listen to your partner. That could bring him back. The next one is that don't be too emotional. Don't always be ready to give sex. 
The next one is a make your ex to smile. Make him smile, make her smile. Let them smile often. Let them see reasons why they should stay with you. Isn't that good? They should see reasons why they should stay with you. You make them smile, you make them happy. Find an activity, an exercise. I mean, find time with your friend. Find something that takes you out. Hang out with people that appreciate you. Get into the gym, exercise yourself, get some good clothes, get some nice things, look well, get yourself polished, and move on with your life. At any point he asks for your attention, not giving out sex, be ready to give him the attention, but not telling him what and what you are into. Don't give him updates, give him time, speak with him or speak with your partner, but don't give him or her updates on what you are doing or on what you are up to. Be very clean and be very straightforward with your partner. This will help you get back to your partner. And I hope this video is, I mean, I hope it's useful to you. Find it useful. And if you're watching me for the very first time, my name is N. Moses. I do, I do um, coaching lessons on dating and relationships. So if you find this content useful to you, please, you can hit the subscribe button and stay with the family. God bless you and thanks for stopping by. And until I see you in my next video, from here is cha-cha-cha.